हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी विल सी द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ मॉड्यूलेशन एंड नीड ऑफ मॉड्यूलेशन मॉड्यूलेशन हियर इन द मॉड्यूलेशन सर्टन अजम्पशन फर्स्ट वी कंसीडर दैट अ मैसेज कैरिंग अ सिग्नल हैज टू गेट ट्रांसमिटेड ओवर अ डिस्टेंस and for it to establish a reliable communication message transmitted with higher frequency signal without changing the characteristic of message signal and a higher frequency signal can travel up to a longer distance without getting affected by external disturbances uh, from this assumptions we somewhere place three definition for modulation we take the help of such high frequency signal which is called as the carrier to transmit our message signal such a process is simply called a modulation second one is modulation is the process of changing baseband signal to pulse band signal now what is baseband signal baseband signal is the original information signal without modulation and pulse band signal is nothing but the modulated signal third one is the modulation is the process of changing the parameters of carrier signal in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal now here the signal representation we represent three different signals first one is the amplitude of the carrier changes in accordance with the amplitude of modulating signal here we called it as the amplitude modulation similarly the second it is frequency of the carrier changes in accordance with amplitude of modulating signal third one is the phase of the carrier changes in accordance with amplitude of modulating signal we term as a phase modulation now here the need of modulation why we go for modulation process the first reason for the modulation is reduction into the height of antenna so first one is we know that antenna height h equal to lambda by 4 that is whatever the operating wavelength divided by 4 it is antenna height also one relation we know that lambda equal to c by f where c is the velocity of light now we'll take uh, one example consider frequency uh, say 5 kilohertz okay take one lower range of the frequency now this indicate that suppose we want to calculate the lambda lambda equal to c by f so c it is nothing but the velocity of light how much is the value 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by 5 into 10 to the power 3 kilohertz mean 3 so that is equal to around 60000 to large meter and according to that h can be evaluated h equal to lambda by 4 now what will be the value of the h 60000 divided by 4 that is equal to almost 1500 meter okay so such a huge height antenna practically it becomes impossible to install because usually we install the antenna vertically upward to cover a longer range of the communication now consider frequency of another frequency one megahertz higher range of frequency if you consider let us see what happen lambda equal to c by f that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by 1 into 1 megahertz that is 1 into 10 to the power 6 equal to almost uh, it get cancel and almost 300 meter 
hence h can be calculated as a lambda by 4 directly i am writing it as a 75 meter okay such a 75 meter height yeah practically it is possible we can install an antenna vertically with a height of 75 meter hence first assumption is get clear that modulation helps to reduce the height of antenna second one is it avoid mixing mixing of signals how it avoid mixing of signals if baseband sound signal transmitted without using modulation by more than one transmitter baseband sound signal you we know that sound signal frequency is how much 20 hertz to 20 kilo within such a 20 hertz to 20 kilo range if several transmitters are transmitting the signal without modulation then all signal will be in the same range so signal will be get mixed and cannot be separated so if we assign here assigning different carrier frequency to each signal so each signal will be transmitted with the help of separate carrier frequency so they will never get mixed up in this way we have proved here that it modulation avoid mixing of signal third one is increase the range of the communication frequency of baseband is very low as we know original information signal lower frequency and low frequency signal cannot be transmitted over a longer distance because one thing related with the amplitude and the power of the signal we know that signal get deteriorated after traveling a certain distance that means signal amplitude goes on decreasing after traveling a certain distance so this low frequency signal cannot go higher distance hence if we modulate then they can travel a longer distance without any attenuation then the fourth one is multiplexing is possible now multiplexing is many into one many into one means more number of the signals are multiplexed and simultaneously sent over a particular channel uh, take example of tv channel okay over a tv cable or channel uh, tv cable we can visualize more number of the channels like this is the exam best example of the multiplexing so with the help of multiplexing signal more number of the signal can be accommodated within a same range or same uh, particular channel fifth one is the reduction into the cost obviously with the help of the modulation substantially the cost will be get reduced and last one is the improves quality of reception how it improves the quality of reception that due to the modulation the noise noise is minimized means the effect of the noise is lower or you can reduce at a greater extent with the help of modulation so these all are the need of modulation thank you